All right, now this is the most important part of the cart. If you don't have it, this cart will not function properly, and I know because I made this mistake. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're gonna go over my surf fishing cart, just show you some of the things I take every time I go out fishing, and some of the modifications that I've made to help me get around the beach a little easier, so let's check it out. Okay, so some of the basics real quick. Bucket for go shrimp, sand fleas, whatever I'm collecting that day. Waterproof backpack, that way if it rains, everything stays dry. I also wear this, I don't actually carry this in the cart. This is a, a way I found that reduces a ton of weight in your cart. Throw that on your back, cart is a hundred times lighter. And this right here is another way to lighten up your cart. It's just a soft cooler, it's nothing fancy. It's not gonna keep ice for two days or anything like that, but that's not what I need. I just need ice to stay for four hours. I did paint the top of it white, that way it reflects some heat and doesn't heat up as quick. This is pretty self-explanatory. This is just my bump board. I've got zip tied to the cart here. This bump board only goes to 22 and a half and an Alabama slot limit for redfish is 16 to 26. So I put this little mark up here at 26 inches. That way I knew if I was legal or not on keeping redfish. All right, sometimes I actually do want a solid floor in part of my cart. That way if I've got my daughter with me, she can sit in the cart and I can pull her. And I just got lucky and found this folding plastic thing. I have no idea what it is. I actually found it on the beach one day and I picked it up just to get it off the beach since it was trash. And it just happens to fit inside my cart perfectly. So I'll toss it in there real quick. And as you can see, it's almost exact same width as the inside of my car, and it makes a great place for my daughter to sit when she's with me. Okay, here on my bait board, again, pretty basic stuff. I put some rope and, and metal clips on here just to hold gear, random tools. Definitely want a water bottle in there so I can spray sand and salt off my reel. This is the cool part that I've done here. I actually cut that and shaped it to form to the shape of the basket in here. And that way on this side, I can keep sinkers and whatever and then over on this side i can keep my my fish gum fish bites whatever else but that that keeps everything a little bit more organized in there for me all right then i got my ghost shrimp pump here and my ghost shrimp pump has a handle on it which makes it fit inside those rod holders just perfect then it nests right up here and when i got my cooler in there that locks in place so it doesn't move around and then over here i've got my sand spikes and my sand flea rake i'll go into how i've got my sand flea rake and my sand spikes attached to the cart all right what i use to carry my sand spikes on my cart this is just a triple rod holder, Not, nothing fancy again. And I've literally just zip tied it to different parts on the cart. That way it's secure and I don't have to worry about it coming off. But it's just, it's the best way that I have found to carry this type of sand spike. And my sand spikes are the aluminum ones with the angle portion down here. They fit in here absolutely perfect. I just, I, I can't come up with it with a cheaper, better option than this. All right, now I did have to add a bottom to the rod holders here to keep my sand spikes from slipping out. And all I did was drill some holes, run zip ties through there. And inside here, I actually put another piece of PVC and ran one of the zip ties through there. Just, just makes the bottom a little bit bigger and keeps some sand spikes from sliding out. All right, and as far as my sand flea rate goes, for the longest time, I always kept it in one of these rear rod holders. And I, I didn't want to take up one of my rod holders with my sand flea rake. So what I did here is, all right, I just zip tied a piece of PVC back here to this rear rod holder. So it keeps this free. I don't have to put a put my sand flea rake in here. I can put another rod in here. And I got my sand flea rake right here and it's out of the way. And one really cool thing you can do with them, once you've got your sand flea rake back here secured and you got your sand spikes up here, what you'll do is you'll run your sand flea rake right here, right in between these sand spikes. And you don't have to worry about that sand flea rake spinning around and hitting you while you move. Locks it in place that way. All right, hands down, the best thing I did to this car was add the second set of wheels. It, it makes it so much easier to get down the beach. Um, but if you are gonna do it, if you are gonna add a second set of wheels, take your time and make sure everything is squared up. Make sure you measure multiple times. Because if, if you get one of these axles off just a little bit, your car's gonna be all cattywampus pulling one way or the other and that's the last thing you want. I ran down to Home Depot and I bought everything I needed for it. I mean, e even the axles, those axles, th that's just conduit pipe. Now I bought some washers, U-bolts. I mean, it, it, it wasn't that difficult, but it's just something you need to take your time when you do it. All right, and just to touch base on adding the second set of wheels real quick, double, triple, quadruple, check yourself to make sure you're squared up before you start drilling any holes. But I'll go over the parts that I used real quick. For the axles, I just went out and bought a piece of conduit. Yeah, I think it was an eight foot piece of conduit. It, it was dirt cheap, a hell of a lot cheaper than you can go out and buy an actual axle for. This is just a cotter pin. I've got it holding everything on the axle here. 
This is just a big washer to keep the tire off that cotter pin. And inside here, I've got another big washer. And then here I've made a spacer at a PVC and then one more big washer. And that just keeps everything off the frame of the cart. All right, now this is the most important part of the cart. If you don't have it, this cart will not function properly. And I know because I made this mistake. If you're gonna add the second set of wheels so you have four wheels on your cart, you have got to add this handle extension. And to put it in perspective for you, when you have two wheels, you gotta raise the front of that cart when you go down the beach, which raises your handle. When you put that second set of wheels on there, your cart sits flat. You don't have to raise that anymore. So your handle sits way down here. It actually sits like below your butt and it's almost impossible to pull down the beach. So get this handle extension to get that handle up so you can pull it down the beach easier. All right guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video and until next time, I'll see you later.